Hello beautiful, welcome to Elden Ring and this video tutorial today is on the summoning pools, what they are, how to use them if you find it helpful. Feel free to like, it helps the channel immensely. If you love Elden Ring and you want more of this, you can consider subscribing. So let's get on with it. So the summoning pools, consider them as a hub of helpers, if you will. Summoning pools allow you to help people in the world not just in one location, not just in one spot. It says, hey, it sends a beacon out to say, hey, I'm here to help. I don't care where I'm going. So we have to activate those to go to those locations though. Uh, so there's one of them. That's one that you'll first see when you come here at the first step. And if you're on Xbox, you can hit the left bumper and it shows all the different um, multiplayer co-op locations all the summoning pools, etc. too. So with this, it's really important to use the right thing. So when we get to these statues, you need to go into your multiplayer inventory and click on this one, the small golden effigy. Click it, bang. And this says, hey, anybody that needs help, let's go. And somebody that wants help can go to a summoning pool and they can see on the ground who's available to help them. And how they're going to do that is by using that other item. So remember, right now we're keeping in mind, we now want to be the host, not the helper. So suddenly without the host, we have the fur calling finger remedy. So we can go, mm, I want to be a host. Sending co-op signal to summoning pool. And what this does, it will light up on the ground the markers of people who want to help us. So we're sort of changing the roles. To know what's being triggered at the time, we can see up the top, that little pocket watch item, that's what I call it, that's the one where we're the host. Uh, so it's pretty important that you use the correct items when you're out and about in the world. So here we see the red ones. The red ones are the PvP, so you probably don't want to touch that. Um, you can see that. Summon the, this adversary, which we don't want to do. Now, keep in mind too, this is a really important part. I've just done a tutorial on matchmaking and levels and how levels do matter when it comes to matchmaking how your items also matter with matchmaking which is a, uh, it's such a good way that they've done it because you can be a very low level and pimp out your weaponry so they are op as hell so they've done an amazing job with scaling and making sure that you are leveled with the right people now Check out that video if you want to learn about that because if you're at a summoning pool and you can't be, be summoned and you can't summon somebody, a random, there could be a very good reason for that, especially if you've been power leveling. That's a whole different kettle of fish though. But those are the summoning pools. That's how they work. Again, a recap. The summoning pools are these icons here, these statues it looks scary. These statues where you can send out a beacon and say, I want to help somebody. Make sure you use the right item though, which again is this one. It looks exactly like the summoning pool sign. Don't put this item down. Don't put your furl finger down um, at a summoning pool or um, at a side of grace unless you want to be summoned in that exact spot. That's the really important part because people are laying down these furled fingers in the middle of nowhere going, why can't I be summoned? Because you need to be in the same spot. You need to be in the same vicinity to, be, to have your, to have your um, gold scratch thing seen in the first place. Keep that in mind. That's why you always see those summoning signs around the sites of grace because it's, it's a gathering place. Um, it's not like with Xbox where you can just send a party invite to everybody and then just be summoned. Um, there's been, I think the most asked question is exactly that. Why can't I summon? Why can't I be summoned? And we've gone through time and time again an exhaustive reason for why that happens. I'm going to make another one. I think it's version 3.0 for summoning and hopefully that will cover more things as we come across them but if you've got a summoning issue let me know if you found a solution absolutely let me know 
But that's Summoning Pools. Hope it was handy for you. Enjoy Elden Ring and um, happy adventures to you. And again, if you like what you see, come on over. There's a lot of live streams here on YouTube. Um, I often play with our viewers, jump into the game, give them a hand, vice versa. It's a lot of fun. But again, remember that matchmaking level thing does matter. So if you want to play with a friend, etc., you can use passwords and then, then the levels do not matter at all. Keep that in mind. I'll love and leave you until next time. Thank you so much for your support. Until then.